Welcome in once again to the YGO Fresh Off The Press community, where we analyze the current polls, trends, and forecasts of the Yu-Gi-Oh! markets. We're here to feed uh, the endless eternal Yu-Gi-Oh! cardboard market watch addiction, guys. You guys already know. Welcome in, guys. Man, almost 4.2K. It's all thanks to you guys. You guys are amazing, man. Thank you so much for all your support, for the hundreds and sometimes even thousands of views, man. You guys are amazing. You guys are the true MVPs. Destroy that like and subscribe button. Ring that bell so you can stay informed and also participate in our channel giveaways. Immediately, let's start off. Look, look that's Jay. Look, who's there on the screen? I need to move. Uh, you can see Jay right there a little bit on the screen. I'm not even going to bother moving my, my current screen. God, that's Jay. Jay, in the good old days, when he was down in MIA, down south, man, Miami's a beautiful city, guys. And down there, your boy Jay was talking about Vi. Just look at Vi, you're right here. Secret Rare from Battles of Legend, Crystal Revenge. I mean, here's the evidence. You can't make this stuff up. Jay, but you never talked about Vi. What do you mean? No, no, no. We don't do that. Here we talk about, we have the evidence. Mostly is the charts. Sometimes it's my own videos, guys. Let's listen into what I had to say about Vayu. Right there. Then we have Vayu, man. Don't forget, Vayu does have the ultimate rare as well. But here we have the budget prints per se. Um, you know, the Ultra, the OG Ultras are not that easy to get. The Legendary Collection 5Ds OG Secrets are also not easy to get. And then you have the Super Rares as well. All of these are going to get harder to get. Yes, the latest secret was recently massively overprinted. But we're making those considerations. We need to do understand that once these all dry up, you know, I believe Vayu is going to have value into the future. Right now, the supply is so great. But if Edison continues to pick up, Blackwing is an Edison fan favorite. And that major demand can actually cause this um, card to become more scarce if that's the case then we expect to see it go from a two quarter price valuation towards that billy range and gosh if you can take a 2x it doesn't matter how little it is it doesn't matter if you're doubling your money it's really hard to double your money in this world consistently so hey when we see cards like these i literally have like 50 of these just put away forget about them come back in a couple of years and you know definitely live to fight an another day guys hey hey I said a couple of years, man. That was too far out. Patience wins this game. But man, Jay, you didn't even have to wait that long. You didn't have to wait that long. Why? Because look at it. Look at this beautiful chart, man. Look at it. By the way, this video was when? We were talking about this six months ago. Six, you can't make this stuff up, man. Over half a year ago, man. Your boy was talking about value. Look at value's price. 24 cents right there. Market price of 40 cents. Yes, two, over 200 listings at the, at the time. But patience wins this game. You bought in around six months ago down here. We were talking about it at the all-time lows. Man, you can't. Man, look at that. Look at that. 56 listings here. We're up. We're up. What is that? We were buying at quarters. Let's say 50 cents just to make it sound nice. We're up 3x. It's too easy, guys. But that's just a couple ones and twos. We got an R09 at 165. And then 169, we got the 14 mini wall. But then it's a $2 card, guys. $2, two billies. Look, 56 listings. We told you guys. We told you. And look, you know we're going to get Billy Bob's out here probably buying at around $5. Nah, I'm just kidding, guys. But hey, the whole point, look, people are even paying threes right here. Billy Bob's coming in paying threes already. They're paying up... A double the price why not it's billy bob they feel like paying double the price here you go we give it to them why because it's too easy guys value turbo is one of the best decks in in uh the edison meta game yes and then pure black wings as well is some of these one run anywhere from one to three you know or two to three some most people triple values you know so some people need play sets for the most part other people don't but the demand is there look at the parabolic advanced move that we talked about many many months ago we always have that vision to look ahead guys to look ahead that's why you're here that's why you're going to destroy the subscribe the subscribe button and i really appreciate it battles of legend crystal revenge the value of all those reprinted cards are going is going to transfer over to cards like these um and we can see and this is just the beginning this is going to be twos then threes probably five dollars in a couple of months it's too easy if you, uh, jay that's all good and well you have your 100 copies but um you know i don't have any then what are you waiting for i mean still a couple of billy here billy there for values five dollars for a place i would get it if i wouldn't have any values i would get these for five dollars right now and live to fight another day that's just my humble opinion now with that said guys today we have a special guest for our fresh friday feature um it's a member of the channel 
Um, I love bringing members on, man. Members are always amazing. I love providing that platform for them to come over. We're going to hang out. We're going to do a market watch together. We're going to talk about cardboard, what we love, guys. So in this case, you know, we're going to have Elio, guys. Elio is a member of the channel that has been a member for a couple of months now. Always very, very supportive via the comments. And he has his own channel as well. So guys, 84 subs, we need to get that a triple digits. We need to get that a triple digits. Why? Because Elio is always providing that value. Alley. always have very, has very constructive comments providing support to me and the channel and also for the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! so we need to go over there and we need to get a Lyle to at least triple digits you can come on in here check the videos check the content right there very look at that I love that you know regional LA regional showing the content I love logs you know we, we get that immersive experience so you definitely want to make sure that you check the channel out and now I'll go ahead and uh, bring Elio on so that we can um, have and enjoy this market watch um, and get get the fresh Friday feature going so Elio welcome in brother how's it going oh great y'all know what it is your boy Leo C what's good Jay What's I'm, up with you? I'm good, man. Thanks for asking, brother. Just happy to have you on, um, you know, to ask you just a couple of questions to pick your brain um, and to discuss some Yu-Gi-Oh cards. So so I'm excited. I'm excited. Um, so so thanks for coming on. I appreciate it. I appreciate you for having me on on the channel, man. I feel like um, I'm a little bit um, nervous if I'm going to keep it a buck with you. But that's you fine. know what, man? We're just going to have fun, have a good time, have a good conversation and Make sure it's up to Jay, man, fresh off the press. Appreciate it. Let's get it. That's what I love, man. It's all about just being genuine, you know, transparency at its finest. Just it's good to, to let our emotions fly, to let people know how we feel. Um, so there's no issue with that. And of course, I mean, I'm used to this content creating and you're a content creator yourself. But sometimes, of course, you know, there's certain situations that we might have some nerves and that's fine. That's fine to get those butterflies going. Um, it gets the excitement up and running. So um, let's get it. Immediately, we're going to talk about your penny stonk today you chose a penny stonk called trap tricks mantis i love it i love it you know why because no one else is looking at this card i love always talking about cards that no one else is looking at everyone forgot about this when they forget we remember no one's talking about trap tricks anymore um and it's a deck that receives structured deck support i don't think it has any direct hits and you just never know in Yu-Gi-Oh when a deck like this you know, you take it to a regional or maybe the locals, an OTS tournament, whatever, and you can get results because people are not expecting this. People are not prepared for a deck like this. So Trap Trick Mantics, you've been talking about the super rare max rarity. So we're going to go in and dive in deep. And in the meantime, why do you think this is a great penny stonk? Tell us the price that you got it for and why should people consider this card? So like, first off, um, when I quit Yu-Gi-Oh! before I came back, like maybe like last year, like a year and a half ago. Mm -hmm. And the first deck I picked up was Trap Tricks. And I was mm. like, man, man, it's pretty interesting. They got the three structured decks. It's pretty simple to use. And then ever since then, like, like I fell in love with this archetype. I even got the play mat and everything because I, nice. because I, <laughs> I don't even play it as much anymore, but I just keep it. And I just want to blink it out as much as I could. Right. And then, and like, when I found the opportunity to like, to buy this card right here specifically, mm -hmm. I made sure that I took advantage of it. I bought mm -hmm. a place at RO3 for a dollar. One Billy, let's go. Let's you know go, I mean? RO3, a Billy. Like, let's get it, love it, so love it, love like, it. I just had to make sure. Yeah. I, oh, 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 I'm so sorry. Um, I just had to make sure that, like, um, that I had to take advantage of it just because, yeah. like, months before that, they were offering, like, one of, one of those cards I think I don't know why they were charging this much, but they're charging me like two bucks a piece for, mm. it, or just mm. one copy. And then like mm. months later, I see it three for a dollar. And then like I was talking to my homeboy, and he said, "Man, man, you should you should probably like um try, try to pick it up." Right. And I like right. I I should I saw I saw this card for two bucks before. Might as well just pick it up now for a dollar for three. So right, yeah, right. I yeah. I my traffic. Like that. Love it. I and mean. Then, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, as we can see the chart here, um, the card has been roller coasting, um, sideways, going up and down. 
um, even at a point uh, to $1.64 and even beyond uh, getting sales at those prices for the first ed. Um, so I'm glad to hear that you got a place for just a Billy. Let's get it. Just a Billy for a full place. That's lovely. And right now, the, the card you have an 11 watt, a dollar. But then after that, it becomes a dollar 43, essentially a dollar 50 a copy. 49 listings only. I love cards like these where they're super rares. They come in code of the duelist, max rarity, a set that no one's opening anymore. A set that came out many, many years ago go the card is hard to get and it's a card that's for a specific deck that again you just never know a deck like this could cycle back into the meta you just never know so i've always liked the potential of cards like these so that's good you got in early a billy for for a playset but even now at a dollar three four bucks for a place it is not bad to slap this in your in a penny stonk investment um binder so i really like that one i really do i really yeah, yeah. do yeah 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 all right so let's like, yeah now go ahead go oh, ahead no, oh, no, my bad. Oh, um yeah. i'm so sorry i just want to keep talking that's of course. no no go ahead go ahead um and also like the big reason why i think why i put like so much so much emphasis on that card too is because i feel like that archetype yes might it might get um not not like support but right. like with like all those new cards that they're talking about like all the plant cards and all right. the and and I like, like that new insect support and like Grave Diggers Trap Hole so busted. Like, yeah, yeah, man, I know what you mean. Man. Sometimes a deck archetype man. like that gets indirect support by new cards coming out, maybe new plant cards, things of that nature. So um, that's an amazing assessment. And that is why it's yeah. always good um, to get access to cards like that for so cheap. Just a buck here, buck there could become two, three billies down the line. And you take that free two to three X and live um, to fight another day. So on that same point, um, Eli, I'll go ahead and ask you just your story about why you love Yu-Gi-Oh. I mean, you mentioned that you quit. I quit personally in the past as well at, at a point, And then I came back. It happens to most of all, you know, to most of us at one point in our lives. So, I mean, just give us your story briefly, you know, of why you love Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, and just let us know a little bit more about you. Um, so I started playing Yu-Gi-Oh! in about like, I don't, like when I was like in like middle school, bro, okay. like I legit, like I started when I was like a little kid, man, I am 28 <laughs> years old right now, okay. so that should tell you something, man. Right. I was playing when I was like 12, 13, Loved it. with the homeboys on the block, you know what I mean? <laughs> just right there, just playing cards, just flipping cards, you know what I mean? And then like, and then like, um, there's this, there's this um, small little part in my building. It's kind of like a little square. Right. And we used to call it, um, we used to call it, um, the shadow realm. Okay. So like we used to go, we used to say, hey, um, let's 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 go play at the shadow realm. Let's go see what's up. <laughs> and I used to like cards. And then like, yeah, man, I fell in love. Um, I felt like I started playing during the beginning of Edison format. That was like the first time I started like I really got into it. And like I I went to like these trade shows and like. All these like um tournaments and stuff like that when i was very small okay um mm -hmm. and then and then after that it just stemmed out until like i just i fell in love with it but like, mm -hmm. i was mostly into like the band cards at the time right like, darko right the right, Gekki, right. harpies i used yeah. to play those cards in my deck yeah and then, like, all, and then like all of my friends would be like man you would never be me if you didn't have those like band cards you know so, right like, right right yeah yeah <laughs> yeah it's so funny i mean because when we're little i mean and we don't know sometimes we use cards that we weren't supposed to so most people can relate um and you were probably uh pooping on kids out there with band cards so that sounds <laughs> that sounds funny and then your story relates a little bit to mine in my podcast episodes um, I, or in the latest one, I talked about me and how I started Yu-Gi-Oh! And it was the same thing. It was in New York and the block with the cousins and things of that nature. Um, so it was very similar. Um, so I, I really appreciate you highlighting um, your story, man. And a lot of people can identify with it. You know, a lot of people came in to Yu-Gi-Oh! via the anime, but other people was due to maybe cousins, friends, you know, and things of that nature. So um, that's a pretty cool story. And of course, it makes sense that you love Yu-Gi-Oh, especially Edison. So today's a market watch is about Edison. So it's perfect, you know, to have you on and to know that you first started playing Yu-Gi-Oh um, during this such, you know, just competitive format that a lot of people consider it to be one of the best formats of all time. Just the hype around it, um, the people enjoyed the format a lot, just the diverse decks and things of that nature. Um, so I really appreciate um, you just sharing your story 
with us today so later on in the market watch um i'll go ahead and actually ask you a couple of more questions but um while i have you on i'll ask you about some of these as we go but um i'll continue right now with armory arm guys hidden arsenal chapter one here this specific secret rare um was three dollars and 59 cents bumping up to five dollars here as we can see um three pages only 24 listings listings are dwindling you know on this card they're around four to five dollars as you can see here this card used to be a buck maybe two and um, we talked about two. it when it was two almost threes um for the secret rare it does have other printings but again most of these printings are up in price as you can clearly see here um and this is the cheapest one let's put high to low and it's ironic that the cheapest one is this secret rare and honestly i would prefer this one over the ultra um but just briefly you have any thoughts with regards to armory arm um Elio? I feel like they should have brought this out on the on that reprint set we're gonna get, man. I feel right. like they should have brought it out in the rarity collection too. At least just bring this card out, man. I, I feel like this card is very iconic. Um, I remember as a kid, I tried to buy this card and I couldn't afford it. So like now to see that that price, I'm like, I'm gonna have to hop on that. Ah, on that's that card, crazy. You know I mean? That's <laughs> crazy. When you talk like that, I remember for me it was goat. For me it was goat cards when I was a kid. Um, it was hard to get the Jinzos of the world, the BLSs of the world, you know, yeah. um, the mirror forces of the world. It was hard as a kid coming up. So I, I can totally relate to you. You know, maybe when Edison came out and you had to get these cards and they were way lower print, you know, amounts. There were maybe one or two prints. Um, and mm -hmm. you had to get these cards. It, it was tough. It was tough. So it's cool to yeah. see these um, pretty yes. cheap compared to those prices back then for you. Um, but all in all, it's they're actually all moving on up because this card is still very hard to get. And who knows yeah. when we'll get an additional um, reprint for this one as well. Then we yeah. have Royal Swamp Eel from Crimson oh, wow. Crisis, man. <laughs> Look at this card. It's a single print <laughs> card that used to be five billies and it's bumping up right now. It's bumping up in price here as we can see first eds are almost double digits 11 listings only two pages as we can see here a lot of ones and twos and uh yes i mean look at that if this card is used as synchro material all other synchro material monsters must be fish type so you have really what matters about this is just that it's a level four tuner and this is not common um in edison for you to have a level four tuner so that's why people actually you know some particular decks uh find a way to play a card like this and it's still single print so this one actually uh definitely uh needs a reprint um so hopefully again elio made a great point with uh, armory arm um konami needs to find a way maybe we get a direct reprint set for older formats like edison yeah. tengu and go or exactly or maybe the rarity cut just wherever they can squeeze some of these cards that are single prints or have low print amounts um because people like elio like me people that play edison you know we need these cards so konami needs to you know step up their game with regards to that <laughs> true. you know what i mean true, so true. you yeah. know yep yep so we have thunder king ryo another card that is extremely hard to get this one is a common guys a common thunder king ryo an iconic card um broken card if you ask me i mean look at that it's almost double digits eight listings only for wow. this look that at that crazy. it is right Eli? i mean a common that's crazy thunder king ryo eight is nine but ten billies essentially a lot of ones and twos then it gets mm -hmm. bought out one page only as we can see here demand is going bonkers for this card i mean tengu plant edison uh modern you know you name it it's a multi-format card um that that is just broken and this needs a reprint very very soon like alio said this yeah. is a card that would actually look very nice in the rarity collection too with seven different yeah. rarities i don't know what konami's waiting for we better get <laughs> this sooner rather than yeah. later then we got Blackwing Silverwind, the Ascendant. Duelist from Duelist Pack 11, another one that has a couple of prints, but this rare is $6. You have a 10 wall of China right here, uh, a mini wall. You got an RO10 right there, and then it continues on up to eights, and then double digits, two pages only. If we clean this up janitor style, we do see that we have 12 listings only. You do have a 45 wall there, so that's actually up there in um, listings amounts right there, and copies, I meant to say. But demand is coming in people are playing black wings they need this card even in value turbo or in pure black wings so this one is one that is hard to get and that you want to keep in mind then we have gladiator beast retiari yeah that's a pretty cool name retiari i like it i like mm -hmm. it. what do you think about that one Eli? what do you think about that name <laughs> <laughs> i feel like <laughs> i feel like the first the first time i ever i ever saw this card as a kid i just said 
I said it. I just said GBR. That's it. There we go. It. That's I, good. I, GBR. I love it. Love it. I thought you were going to say like Ratari and that's it. Like just the, you know, like the easy way to say it. So I love it. I love it. I mean, this card was what? Four or five billies and we see it bumping up to 770s, eights. You do have a couple of walls here, but then it's double digits. Three pages, only 21 listings, a turbo pack booster three version. I mean, you do have um, what? A secret rare max rarity other than this one. This card is extremely hard to get. I mean, these Edison cards cards we need a set we need a dedicated set konami there's just too many great broken edison cards that either have low print amounts or in some cases are even single prints so you know we need something like this like elemental hero mm -hmm. absolute zero that recently got a max rarity reprint in battles of legend chapter one i can't believe that this card only Ooh. had four printings beforehand such an iconic card now getting a secret rare it is beautiful to see this card in this rarity i mean such an iconic card what do you think about this one Eli? what do you think about it? man man the goal i'm gonna get me started with this card I, I feel like this card when i was a kid man i always refer back to a kid because i feel like i've always wanted these cards as a kid right so right, like right. I feel um you. this card this card honestly like like i must say it here on the channel and everything this is my favorite fusion monster like of all time Ooh. i've 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 always felt like absolute zero like in the metal back then was always seen as like a card of like that people feared right, whenever people right, print this card right, right, on the right. table or right. out there in my block at the shadow right. realm <laughs> at the I, shadow took the shadow realm Let's go. I took some people to the shadow realm with this card you know what i mean <laughs> love it man i took love some it. people to the shadow realm with oh this card man God. so like <laughs> To see it get that reprint, I just made sure to cop. I made sure to cop those before it before it right, went up it the price. I right, think I right. bought. I think I bought. Um, I bought an RO three for Love like it. maybe like, or maybe like two bucks. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, He's, there were some deals on there on TCG Player. Just people um panic selling when the supply was going in. So I love to hear that you were able to get these cards for cheap because they're already bumping back up. They were, you know, here. It says 794, but I saw some of these at fives and even below um with some deals. And right now, 25 listings. You have a couple of one ofs, but then it's a double digit card after the R09. That's impressive. I mean, you have um excuse me three pages down here you have sales coming in people buying 12s that's insane at around ten dollar insanity right now going on for this card <laughs> it was to be expected me i should have at least gotten a play set and i said it when i was covering this card at five dollars i didn't um but i said that the rarity collection 2 might reprint this there's always you know because we got um uh dark law which is you know an iconic fusion hero monster so i made the connection i'm like maybe is on speculation so i'll wait because if this has a qcsr and seven different rarities oh man it would be amazing um but if not then the secret rare is definitely the way to go i'm glad that you have you you have exposure to a card like this and yes i get it i mean this card is iconic is a lot of people's favorite either card or fusion monster and this is a card like back in goat days um bls bls was that dude that everyone played and everyone was scared and running for the hills so <laughs> absolute zero yeah, yeah, is definitely that card for edison so um that's it's a great card and it's already bumping up guys it's bumping up so let's see how it reacts in the next couple of weeks the next couple of months um to see if this actually gets put in um to the rarity collection too let's see let's see so then we have iron chain dragon this is a single print from crossroads of chaos a rare guys this is a rare we cleaned this up janitor style we do see that this rare actually has a price of double digits insane 12 dollars wow. a pop 12 billies a pop only 11 listings we do see um uh, ro6 down here but then it quickly goes to 15s and beyond two pages only the man is coming in people are buying mps lps um jps lyops just all the p's all over the place you know <laughs> just people are just trying to get access to this card and uh, it's insane for a rare single print Konami. come on now it give us even a comment just for those people mm -hmm. that are coming in they don't want to be paying 12 billies for a rare a single print rare that and an old card too some of these you probably buy them near mint and you receive either lp or, or mp already so um this card definitely needs a reprint then we have avenging knight parshat this Dude, is that card old school, yo for real right it's that crazy card, that card is old like when when you talked about the iron chain dragon right, and all right. like man now 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 that card took me to the shadow realm you know what I mean? <laughs> of course you had, you had to visit the shadow realm sometimes huh man that car, that car was busted bro I'll, oh my god i remember god. man i remember it got to a point man where i was like man i can't even play that i can't even play anymore without buying that card right, like, i'll right, buy right. packs i'll buy packs i feel sure. you and like i feel like 
Also, too, I think that that was the first um, um, six-star synchro that had 2,500 attack. Let me see. Let me just pull it back up. Yeah, so six-star 2,500. That's right. That's right. Um, and it's crazy that this, ca this card came out since those days, and it's never had a reprint. Just insane to think it that way, um, you know, when we relate it to your story. But, um, yes, I mean, yeah, there's always cards that even though most people may be, like, in a situation that you can't afford them, but you need it. So, you know, you try and, and, and save lunch money back then and then just try and get the card, maybe make a trade, you know, with a buddy. They, they don't know the value and things of that nature those were the good old days man those were the good old days man honestly i love i remember that yeah, i love too. it i love it yeah just revisiting um those times so you know i appreciate it so then we have avenging knight parshath again this one is actually um it was 13 14s not long ago this one has dumped down but you do have a couple of deals here and then you have a 40 wall at 11 which is already double digits but only nine listings guys one page only we see here the demand coming in people are buying this card um for their extra decks and you know fairies and um you know and things of that nature so yeah i mean eight dollars nine dollars i mean right it's, it's cheap compared to the future prices for this one this is another one it got a reprint um let me see let me just click and that's the common guys but look secret rare i think this has an ot2 but this card needs an additional reprint i don't know what konami's Ooh. waiting for we have gemini soldier here from a structured deck a single print card from warrior strike structure i mean how are we supposed to have to get these i mean <laughs> this is a common that is worth what look at that it's just insane six dollars for a common crazy wow. and then you have a 12 wall right there so but 14 listings only only two pages the next wall is at double digits almost eleven dollars so don't get it twisted i mean the chart look at that it was what 33 cents wow that's, a big spike, that's insane from 33 cents to sevens once edison hype came in and now it's just been hovering here making a higher lows guys and higher highs so the trend is your friend until the end and this one's just consolidating before re-spiking back up unless this card gets a reprint and then we have sky scourge nor Laris. man i'm bad with names lyle here as we can <laughs> see here this is still a single print super rare just no way no way no how this was three dollars three fifties spiking up to 14 15s that's wow that's a four to five x 4.5 x give or take um and look right here 12 dollars quickly goes up to what 20s at the bottom of the page one page only 10 listings guys insane as you can see the common theme of where's today bobs at? yeah where's them richie bobs let's richie get bobs. it man let's go like, let's go um, <laughs> real quick. yo they're where's willing the to pay what like, like 20s or 25 for these nah nah there's not <laughs> not That's for this one to point out, man. hopefully for the next one huh? yo not, for real we're gonna have to check we're gonna have to, to check some Richie Bobs, you know? yo, make sure real. Some Richie we're gonna have to check the latest sales for a couple of those that are upcoming there but yeah overall guys super rare first that impossible to get this is another one that i don't understand i don't understand what konami's waiting for just so many cards that need reprints and that are hard to get and have been appreciating in price um do to that so before the halftime show you know um elio's uh, topic of the day um it's a delicate one and i love it i love the fact that we're going to be able to touch base on this um here uh, you know before the halftime show what i like to call just to touch base on this you know hopefully you guys if you're still here if you're still watching you deserve um you know us just talking about it and just taking a moment um to discuss mental health basically Elio today chose um just very briefly to talk a little bit about mental health and related to Yu-Gi-Oh um I personally do th that in my podcast episodes down here guys I mean why Geo fresh off the podcast if you haven't listened to any of these don't wait don't 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 sit around and wait because i touch base on mental health towards the end of each and every single episode and i'll continue to do so even for people that i invite over to my podcast for future episodes because i'm big on that i'm big on mental health i believe every human at one point goes you know obviously ups downs life is a roller coaster there's always a lot going on um simple tax tasks become big big tasks become little life you know it's all about perspective so i like that we have a lie on he chose that his topic of the day it wasn't the bandless speculation it wasn't um you know uh, collecting the meta or buying and selling cards you name it no he chose mental health um so i'm gonna let him take the floor and i appreciate you doing um you know so and choosing this topic Elio. so the floor is yours um I do uh, appreciate you for really putting some emphasis on mental health, and I'm really glad that I could be on this platform, especially like with a um, with a person like you who's had experience to just like you've been in the game for so long, and like you've seen the ups and downs of this game, and 
you did leave some you you did leave the game for a while Correct. but then you came back because because i feel like when the when the game started changing all of our mental started changing we're we just started to get frustrated with the game maybe they introduced a new archetype and stuff like that and i feel like it's very important to touch on this topic because i um i feel like a, a lot of people really um lose sight of it when they're in the moment like in my vlog i ain't trying to plug i'm not trying to plug myself or or anything like that but like um in my recent well in my vlog when i was at the regionals um there was a segment where i was frustrated and then i kept it in my video because i want to show people like the reality of like being in a setting like that if you've never been in like a regional or like a ycs or anything like that wow um, and, and I feel like I can um, I can lose sight of it sometimes, and I feel like um, with good support, you know, like my shout out to my wife, man, mm. like for real, mm. like she, like she hold it down mm. for me, like, like I feel like that same day too, like I texted her and then like I let her know, like hey, hey babe, um, I'm frustrated, mm. um, I'm 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 losing, um, I just I kind of want to leave, you know, this and that, and then. You know, she told me like, "Hey, your purpose there is not to is not to win. Is there to have a good time, spend time with some good people, and really enjoy the atmosphere of of being at at a place like that where where you and a lot of people can really enjoy the love of the card game." So, I feel like um, ever since then, ever since that vlog, I've been more conscious about mental health and just making sure that people check their heart. And then, um, and and just like a brief little like a story time too. Um, I recently went to like a locals and. And there was this guy there, you know, he was getting frustrated. He he lost so many games and then and then like out of nowhere, his last game, he just ended up snapping on on somebody at locals and and to me that made me feel type of, some type of way. You know, so then like um when the guy left out off of the table because like because he thought that he was being cheated or what or whatever it may be, I talked to the guy that he screamed at and then I, I asked him if he's okay. Like no hard feelings, you know. There are some people who just they take it a little bit more seriously than others, and like to me, it really affected me because like we don't know if if that could have been that person's first local. You know what I mean? It's like right. we we head to locals to go have fun, to test out decks, to, to meet new people, to trade cards and do all that stuff, and to see <laughs> stuff like yeah. that. It really it 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 it, it breaks my heart. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So, so like I definitely want to talk about this and. And right. just make sure that everyone knows, like, hey, we're in this for the love of the game. That's and we're right. in this for, for the love of the connection that we make while playing these games. That's right, and, man. You couldn't have said it. that's my topic, you know? Couldn't have said it any better, man. First of all, thank you so much for sharing, you know, a little bit about your personal story, mental health and overcoming. That's that's a big word for me, overcome, you know, just going mm -hmm. through these situations. And, you know, this regional was two, three months ago and just how far how far you've come from that moment and that time and shout out to wifey man wifey your wife man mvp shout out to wifey she she's just great insight wisdom um with what she told you um she she deserves all the props you know it's always good to have that partner um you know in the ear in those situations just to calm you down and and to tell you what you want to hear and what you need to hear at that time so that's amazing so again guys you're going to want to make sure that you guys check out this vlog um to see what uh, Lyle was saying um and it's just amazing like he hits it on the dot you can you guys can relate none of us are perfect we all go through go through ups and downs um life is it's it's hard sometimes and it's always good you know to have that understanding of mental health and being in a good mental place maybe having support for some people like Lyle is his wife for me as well maybe my wife maybe friends and family or you know maybe yourself maybe sometimes you're going through a tough time you have to tell yourself i need to overcome this moment but at the end of the day we just all want to be just stability just mental mentally healthy um so that we can continue to do what we love um and yeah. which is play cards and play Yu Gi Oh. yes locals is supposed to yeah. be that environment that you go you go and chill with the friends um lay back some people decide casual other people decide to compete but at the end of the day that should be that environment but of course we always find ourselves in some situations sometimes you see other people snap or you know that's part of the game it comes with yeah. the game but at the same time i love being able to highlight 
you know the fact that this exists and that it's fine if you don't feel well you know you got to voice it out you got to let other people around you help you and just have that support system um you yeah. know so you can overcome that's the word of the day yeah. that's what i always overcome. talk about yeah yeah I'm, in, in my podcast episodes and um i love the fact that Elio chose this specific topic mm -hmm. um and in the comment section down below just let us know let me and Elio know what do you guys think about uh, mental health um yep. maybe maybe your st story in the comment section just briefly yeah, or if I any like of that. you guys are going through something if you're hey, maybe you're watching this video right now you're going through something right now leave a comment down below that we're gonna be there for you we're gonna make sure you know i, I receive a bunch of comments but i'm gonna try for this specific episode you know to focus if i see anything that we're here we're here you know and and er each and every one of you guys are great that's why I always appreciate this community, what we're building here, um, and just members like Elio and the rest of the other members that I have as well. Just great people, as you guys can see um, right mm -hmm. here, right now. So again, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to go ahead and continue with the Market Watch briefly, and I just want to thank you again for um, sharing that with us today, Elio, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate you, man. And then make sure I catch Jay on whatnot, all right? Yeah, $15 there we go. Off, Guys, off let's go. Let's go, man. Make sure, Yo. make sure 15 billies, man. You know you what see? I mean? I use it personally. I use it personally from experience. Guys. Guys. I use it personally from experience. I got to, like, I got to steal on some cars. I ain't going to say what cars, though, because, I, you know right, what I mean? Right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah, I feel myself. you. I feel but the point you. I feel is, you. man, make sure to click on the link below, man. You Catch see? him on whatnot. You Get see? the steal because he gave me three relinquishes. I made sure to let him know, Jay, you bought me the wrong cars, man, because these cars are overpriced, bro. You know what it, I mean? You see? You we, know, guys, we always been me. giving deals and steals over there and whatnot. Elio took advantage of the 15 billies. He also took advantage of some deals we had on a live stream. Elio is the true MVP. He's a member of the channel. Look, he took over halftime show. So, man, you can't make this stuff up. Listen to Elio. You know, he told you guys he did it himself. Don't, hey, it's 15. Who doesn't want $15 off $15. cardboard? $15. $15 off, man. And what I'm telling you, make sure to tune into when he live streams, when Jay live streams, you're missing out if you ain't going on there, man. Cause he, all I, the only thing that I'm waiting for on his live stream right now though, like for real is when he, when he, um, when he, um, sells, um, Mama Billy, you know what I mean? Mama Billy, yeah. damn. Mama Billy, man. I'm, 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 I'm just trying to wait for that one, man. I'm, uh, I'm trying to wait for that one. I'm a bit. Uh, I'm about to bid on that one. Man. You see, Lyle's trying to get my Mama Billy, guys. What do you guys think? What do you guys think, man? She's special. She's special. <laughs> you know, we, we can't do that to Mama Billy, but I love it. I love it. <laughs> guys, listen to Lyle, guys. If you want to also sell over there and whatnot, you can click here to become a seller as well, not just on TCG Player. Don't forget about the Discord, guys. Over 330 people up in there joined the happy family you guys won't regret it and then obviously like we said we had a podcast and uh, check out the friends of the channel these guys are amazing at what they do make sure you destroy that like and subscribe button so that you guys can stay tuned for our fresh off the press content and participate in our channel giveaways as well and none of this content is official financial advice is for entertainment purposes only so briefly we're going to finish this market watch just by highlighting a couple of more um key edison cards that i want you guys to keep and have in mind guys we have royal oppression here as a trap card from legacy of darkness five listings only this card doesn't have many prints and all prints are in the in the double digits most of them around 15s to 20s one page only this is insane this is insane man look at the Sheesh. demand coming in the charts are, are you, you see the spike here for the unlimbs the the first deads are already up here this card is extremely hard to get blackwing plays this at two because they can still use value if I use effect to continue special summoning with that specific effect and create advantage that way, this card is broken. It's just broken. You guys want to make mm -hmm. sure you get access to it if you need it. But man, Konami, we need a Royal Oppression reprint, man. Like, come on. Now. I don't get what they gain just Royal by oppression? keeping this. Yeah, by keeping this without a reprint. I don't understand. I just don't. Look, all versions. There's I don't six prints. Everything. Look at that. Six prints. Everything. You see, there's six prints. And if you put in via verified sellers, you only have one print that is not out of stock. You can't. Come on now, Konami. I'm, I'm going to have to move on to another <laughs> card. But look, the other card that I move on to also needs a reprint. Trap does shoot here from Pharaoh on the Guardian. Look at this. Look at this. Look, this is a common, guys. A common is $14. 14 billies here for a common 18 listings, two pages only, and a lot of one ofs. Jay, but I need multiples because I'm playing Edison and I'm playing Go. Look at that. You're going to have to, what, pay 
man, what is going on? In the bottom of the page, almost 20 billies here. We can see a lot of one ofs that the man is coming in. Um, this car needs a reprint. Yeah, you have that holographic crazy price at 350 champion pack five supers. Mm. You have the DTs at 30s, the 35s. And then you have commons pushing into the teens already. Uh, until when, man? Until when is Konami going to be like, you know what? I need, I need, we need to reprint these. Like, come on now, Konami, give it to us. Elio wants a reprint of Royal Oppression and Trap Dust You, so it must happen. Konami, <laughs> it must happen. That's true, man. That's true, man. You that see, car is busted, bro. That you see? Is it is. It's insane. That car is busted. It is. And then we have Dark End Dragon as a Synchro Monster, uh, Edison Synchro Monster, that it's an extra deck staple for the most part. This one, you see a little bit of a curvature, but it, it's at all time highs here in the teens as well. Is retracing back down to the mean this is another one that needs an additional reprint honestly at these prices maybe just one to play if you need it i would get it i would get it before eventually it goes to 14s and 15s and beyond three pages only 21 listings i would get the super rare from rye yellow mega pack that's just me we have magical android another one turbo pack booster three this this needs a reprint look guys look this is a rare a rare of course it's a turbo pack rare but look <clears throat> if we clean this up here real quick twenty dollars right here oh but okay we'll get a cheaper version what is that i mean look even the the super rares are holographic at 20s they're all at least 20 billies a pop i personally have an ultra rare to me this is max rarity i have it you know i bought it at around five dollars when this card was cheap and edison wasn't being played but i just have one i know how hard this card you know it is to get um so yeah i mean this definitely needs a reaper when you see four prints and all versions are 20 plus dollars then we have trident dragon guys a card that currently being used or going to be used with tenpai dragons in the meta so this is causing this buyout but then you combine the fact that it was used back then as well when you combine edison hype with current meta hype with tenpai dragons this is the results mr clean comes in and does his job two listings only you have one at 60s then at 75s just insane what's going on look people paying uh 44s you know that 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 was cheap but it's mp look it's crazy near mints at those Jeez. levels cheap compared to current prices insane was going on. yo i mean no, no in this was case the they were buying cheap they were buying cheap because you only have two <laughs> prints and then the secrets were around those prices so insane to have a card that has edison demand combined with current meta hype and that's what you get you have ancient Sa sacred wyvern you have multiple prints here secret rare this is the one we i was discuss, discussing this with saki i believe it was on his channel if i'm not mistaken because we were talking about edison when i collab with him seven listings only single digit listings 19s eventually is a 25 dollar card and then gone you can see the curvature used to be 16 in the teens here from the previous 20 billy all-time highs now look this is a cup formation we're forming the cup here and now we're coming back to revisit the previous all-time highs and if that gets pierced then price discovery man this could reach 25 to 30s before you wake up the next day then we have look at this black brute drago what in the world is this have you seen this card ever before you need to help me out because you're the edison expert i had no clue will i have never seen this I, card tell me about it tell me a little bit about it so so i've seen this card a very long time ago and um when I was seeing this card, it was like those, it was that card that you'd pull and just like not even use. You, you, you could be like, there's so many other busted cards right. during that time where it's like, this card, it's just there. Right. You know what I, mean? I, I, feel I, you. I pulled out, I pulled out a cool, cool, cool little card, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. you're like, yeah. You know, it's a super so, rare and no one really cares. Because then right? at one, we had Stardust, we had Thought Ruler, we had we have black rolls man black yeah rolls. so many broken other synchro monsters it makes sense what you say i mean and it's crazy i've never seen this card it has a pretty cool art 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 artwork i don't know why this is a single print still i just don't understand i mean 40 dollars essentially for this a oh, lot of man. one ofs insanity one page only seven listings Kanabi. Konami needs to see this mark and watch and reprint every single card we talked about <laughs> here today. We have Substitute. Look at look at this. Look at this card. I mean, it's going down the charts, say, but still. I mean, for first eds, it's $30 for this rare, insane. I mean, you have play sets here, but then the next mini wall is at 35s, then 45s, then 50s, then gone. Two pages only. The man is coming in, even though slightly. People still need this um, for frogs. And it's just crazy that this rare from Light of Destruction has yet to ever receive a reprint for this you know iconic card and then lastly we have uh cluster amaryllis let's just leave it at that this card we talked about it in a previous market watch and it's just insane to me that first editions are 45s then 
essentially 50s then 60s then gone one page only six listings single digi listings for this first edition card extremely hard to get you know edison cards need reprints the hype is real the demand is real and there's just not enough for these single prints people actually building these decks they need these cards because there's no other alternative that konami you know unfortunately just hasn't um, been able to to provide them with that so guys before we conclude um the market watch with um Elio, I'm gonna go ahead and just ask him two quick questions. And the first one is just constructive feedback. Is there any one thing that you would want to change about the channel? Um, so let's hear it. Um, one thing I would think of on top of my head is on, on uh, honestly, you give back to the community. Yes. You um, you um, you talk about some great um, um, about some great cards that I've invested in myself, awesome. and it's paid off. You know, nice. so like, I feel like there's no constructive criticism yet. Okay. But, but once that happens, I'll, I'll make sure to put in that down in the comments and stuff like that. But for right now, I feel like you're doing a oh, super amazing job, man. For real. Awesome, man. All I can ask is just for an honest, um, your honest take, your honest opinion, and what you think. You know, and it's it's been hard for many people to provide constructive feedback. None of us are perfect. We can always get better. But I mean, that's all I can ask, and I appreciate. Um, that feedback and then i'll ask you so then what's your one your your favorite one thing about the channel you know that you come to uh your boy jay from fresh off the press something that differ differentiates me from maybe other channels that uh something you feel about me the channel like what what is your favorite thing about ygo fresh off the press if i'm being completely transparent i feel like a lot of channels aren't very interactive and i feel like with your channel you're very very interactive like not just with the community but like with the way that that you talk into like your camera and your microphone, I feel like you're very engaged and you're and like the way that you you um you present yourself is the way I feel like you present yourself wherever. So like we can really see it through the um through the lens of of your camera and that I feel like that's why your channel has grown so high right right yeah i appreciate that feedback yeah i get what you mean it's just that personality i mean i am who i am and i just display it to you guys via the camera and also some people have been able to meet me at locals locally um here in orlando where i'm currently at or you know when i went to ycs cancun i met um a person that followed the channel um and just people that i meet they see that i'm the, that same dude that same guy um so you hit it on the on the on the dot man i really appreciate um the fact that you appreciate what we do here at the fresh off the press community you know to the level that you actually support me in the channel as a member of the channel so um i really appreciate that yes um so uh any yeah. last thoughts you know before we we, we get out of here um anything all else right. you want to say all right so just quick um i want to give a shout out to um to the fresh off the press community man just like everybody sage who 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 works behind the scenes for you i've never met him i've i've, I've never talked to him but like when i, I joined the discord it was definitely there to like support me sage and like make amazing. sure that like that like i joined so shouts out to sage and then um just um and just yeah, I just want to let everyone know that like you're you're always gonna be loved, you're always gonna be appreciated, and there's always an open space here at the Fresh Off the Press channel. If you if you ever feel like you're flustered or or if you feel happy, you know we're just here to um to support each other, and I just can't wait to meet the rest of of the people who are on the chat too. You know? awesome awesome man you couldn't have said it any better i mean uh, again elio is a member of the community he spoke for myself that's what we strive for here at the fresh off the press community just people to feel welcome to feel like they can you know go to the comment section they could talk with me in the discord you know dm me whatever i'm accessible to the people because i want to be what i hope you know that others would be with me maybe other um yugi tubers or whatever i like to change the game to do things different um and you guys appreciate that so um again elio it has been a pleasure to have you on um thank you so much for taking this time um we're what, almost 50 minutes in i mean i know most of the community really enjoys um very long market watches um so yeah. this one is jam-packed um we touched base on many different things i love talking about edison and mental health and everything you know regarding all of that so um again again i thank you so much for for hopping on and uh with that we're gonna end it guys so again destroy that subscribe button guys um and if you made it this far out into the video man you're just like a lion you guys are straight mvps guys thank you so much for your time for your support for your attention stay fresh